Um, I will start by saying I give God the glory that we are alive today with the whole of family. Although, uh, unfortunately, we've lost two of our siblings since our dad passed. And um, yes, since our dad passed. But so far, our mothers, my person, my mother, my stepmom, my sisters, my siblings, everybody, to God be the glory, is healthy and they're strong. But um, we wish our dad is alive today to see what each of us has turned out to be. But the ones who are, med who are doctors, the ones who are engineers, the ones who are, uh, um, you know, everybody in different fields has gotten to a point where we can say, oh, we never knew we could make it without our dad. So I wish it's something I can spend money to bring him back to life and uh, see what all his children have started out to be. We have engineers, we have multi-company directors, we have different people in different areas that has made the name or made my dad proud where he is. So, but um, it's still painful, we miss him because we see his eight mates that are fortunate to be alive. I see his friends that are 92 years, 93 years, still counting. So, I'm praying that those of us alive, God will give us that long that we will see our children, children, and continue to do the best and keep his name going. You know, um, we miss him. I would have been celebrating and happier to pull all the all, whatever I can pull to give him a befitting birthday of 90th birthday. Posthumous birthday. Posthumous birthday. You know, where he will sit down and be shaking his head that these are my children.
Rise, you make child. Oh, Coco. Where that you live. Mighty Father, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, we thank you, we adore you, we glorify your mighty name. We thank you especially for today that we are remembering our father, late Chief Christopher Mado Enoa. We ask God to receive his soul that we who are here we we'll continue to remember him in love and in peace. We ask that everything that is going to be done today will be according to your own dictate and not that of man, so that the end of it all, only you and you alone will take the glory, will take the honor, will take the adoration, will take the authority, while the blessing will come upon us. For this and other prayers we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, sir. Give a round of
will admit to the fact that the Enua family is a successful breed. Make money. Mm -hmm. Of this 
mzee mkuu Haji Lava ni jibu Chief Barrister Anand Kachuku Ano lini malonyogu Menyo yo yo I have seen no one Of course he's here with her daughter And also with Honorable Jim Obuchie Around, I want to recognize the presence of Dr. Mrs. Benjamin, one time an acting professor of the Doctor of Education of
My name is George Enua, and um, I'm the last son of Obuefi, Mother of Nachuku Enua. And um, we are here today to remember him. He left us some 32 years ago. While he was alive, he believed so much in education. Today, by the grace of God, though he left us, but we followed his footsteps. And within us, we have everyone fully graduate. We have a doctor among us, my humble self, I'm an engineer. And I'm sure he's very happy looking down and seeing how far his children have gone. So in the light of that, we decided that following his legacy, we should equally support the less privileged students, pupils in schools in Onichubo, by giving them little token of school bags, and um, I think we have some writing materials so that we could um, enhance learning for them. So without wasting much time, I would like to invite the head of schools here present, primary schools here present, to please come forward for the presentation of these bags for the less privileged students or pupils in their various school phase. Okay, okay. Miss the head of school that I'm here should be some fun. 
Jenny. Now we call them names of the I look at them. Is that the healthy stress? Yeah, healthy stress. Oh yeah, is that all? I thought there were more. Okay. Um, we have four schools ably represented here by their head teachers. I will hand over the mic to them to introduce their, themselves and their schools also. I am Mrs. Sengwe the HM of Bonosa Primary School and Chubo. Thank you. I am Oguda Patricia Agelega. I am the HM of Ademeka Primary School and Chubo. I am Mrs. Moni F.O. from Aisioji Primary School. I am a teacher in Anishubo. Where's the other one? Okay, can you... Okay, what's this? What, what, what is this? Uh, I mean the, the other lady. Okay, okay. okay. we're supposed, we're supposed to, to have four schools, schools here. Yeah. If you want primary school, but the... Okay, Mrs. Wapa, the head teacher, is not here. But we will still extend this to the school. Sir, Sir please present this school back to this. We have 30 for each school. Yes, we have 25 for each school. Yeah. So this will be handed over by Sir Sam Dede on behalf of the Eluwa family. Um, in line with uh, what is going on, we hand over this pack to the headmistress of Animeka Primary School on the Chubo. Take it. Also, the same kind, we are handing over these packs, 25 of them, to the headmistress of Isioji Primary School here in Onichubo. You are welcome. Thank you very much. We are also handing over these packs, 25 of them, to the headmistress of uh, Bonanza Primary School yeah. here in Onichubo. God bless you. So you collect on behalf of uh, your school, if you want. Just count it out.
And your junior. It was really uh, difficult because uh, he left when we were really too young to lose a dad. Needed the guidance of him to show us the life paths. Unfortunately, death snatched him so well. It was difficult uh, growing up without a dad mm. and navigating the whole, uh, managing the family. And everything together. Okay, for now, okay, presently now, what's your uh, advice for your sisters who have been married and they're no longer part of the family, so to say, but they are? Well, uh, they can't forget where they come from. Even if they are married, they're still part of Madabu Nachiku children. They're still part of Inuma uh, descendants. What was the most funny character of your father? Um, being frank, being very frank, tell you as it is, how he feels. That's the truth? Yes. Since, since his name is, has his brother been able, his brothers in the Kings, have they been able to carry him for long? They did their best. They did their best, yes. I mean, given the situation. Okay, okay, so finally, what's your message to those whose fathers are still alive? Uh, make the best of it. Okay, okay. Make the best of it because I wish my dad mm. is alive today, celebrating 94 years, mm. rather than me celebrating his life. That would, you know. So if you have a dad right now, and you have, even if you don't have money, even if you don't have anything, but the main fact that you see him, you touch him, take the full advantage. All right, let's let's come home just for one finally, so that yes. the time. You just arrived in Nigeria. Yes. Are you satisfied with what you've seen in terms of development in your state? Well, um, I'm not a politician. Yeah, I know. And uh, I just pray for the best for Nigeria. Pray for the best. And for Delta State, that God will bring the leadership that will honor you. Okay. Okay. Well. Um, I will start by saying I give God the glory that we are alive today with the whole of family. Although, uh, unfortunately, we've lost two of our siblings since our dad passed. And um, yes, since our dad passed. But so far, our mothers, my person, my mother, my stepmom, my sisters, my siblings, everybody. So God be the glory is healthy and they're strong. But um, we wish our dad is alive today to see what each of us has turned out to be. But the ones 
who are med who are doctors, the ones who are engineers, the ones who are, are um, you know, everybody in different fields has gotten to a point where we can say, oh, we never knew we could make it without our dad. So I wish it's something I can spend money to bring him back to life and uh, see what all his children have started to be. We have engineers, we have multi-company directors, we have different people in different areas that has made the name or made my dad proud where he is. So, but um, it's still painful, we miss him because we see his eight mates that are fortunate to be alive. I see his friends that are 92 years, 93 years, still counting. So, I'm praying that those of us alive, God will give us that long longevity that we'll see our children's children and continue to do the best and keep his name going. You know, um, we miss him. I would have been celebrating and happier to pull all the, all, whatever I can pull to give him a befitting birthday of 90th birthday. Posthumous birthday. Posthumous birthday. You know, where he will sit down and be shaking his head that these are my children doing this. But all the same, we give God the glory, let God take on our and adoration. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. Right. Thank you. Okay. My name is George Jidolfo Inouwa. I'm the last child of Oboefi, Christopher Modabu Nachuku Inouwa, who we are remembering today. He died 32 years ago. He was a loving father to all of us and uh, we miss him dearly and um, we thought that today we should um, call our friends to remember him for all he stood for. We are happy because all he taught us has led us through life and um, today we've been very successful, every one of us, and it wouldn't have been possible if he didn't bring us up in the most disciplined and God-fearing manner. Today I'm very happy because I know you'll be so happy down there. As at the time he passed on, we were so young. Um, I was still in primary school as at the time he passed on. So it's very emotional for me because um, I didn't uh, have to spend so much time with him but I remember especially how he was very strict and firm. I remember how he disciplined me especially a one occasion when I lied he found out took me to his room and beat me mercilessly with one special cane he has be under his bed and that thing happened sometime in 1986 I remember very well and it has helped me today in life that I can never take something that does not belong to me. And same with my siblings. So today we are remembering the life and times of a great man who unfortunately his life was taken away from us at such a young age. So thank you all. Thank you. And okay. All right. My name is Oko, one day Sylvester. Um, my mom is uh, the first daughter of Ubuefi uh, Christopher Inouwa. My coming into the family is through my mom and I'm from Midumogo. Why my mother is from Midumogo? Like I said earlier, she's the first daughter of the family. Um, my grandfather, the little why I happened to interface with him, though I was very, very tender, still in primary school, he visited us in Benin. I could remember the, the words of encouragement he had for us that time was to make sure that we go to school and 
graduates in our different fields of study that we got from him because he told us his, uh, the little time uh, he had to go into the educational aspect of his life and the business aspect of his life. He gave us a little story about that. So we will listen to him and also have to choose the path that we have to follow due to his words of encouragement. So um, until when we got the shocking news of his demise, uh, though it, it was a painful one because we didn't spend much time with him, I, I will tell you that. The time we are supposed to go closer to him and know him better, that was when we got the news that he left. So that is what I have to say about him for now. My name is Chukubika Nathaniel Enunua. I am a grandson and one story I know of my grandfather is that when my, uh, my dad was still in high school, he was talking back to his dad, thinking he was the elder in the house. So what my grandfather did is he said, okay, no problem. My father went to school and then they announced on the PA system, Emeka, come to the courtyard now. They lashed him many times. Then when my father came back home, my grandfather was like, come, sit down. And my father was like, I can't, I cannot sit down. He was like, eh, eh. Moral of the story, do not disrespect your parents. And based off of that story, I can see that my grandfather was a good, responsible role model.